How's it going, everybody? This is McDank. He's holding a McShank. And that is Princess Yappy Pants. Because she just talks forever. Alright, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to play through Dark Souls 2 uh, for the moment. Uh, this is Scholar of the First Sin, not the original release. So if you can tell by the graphics and the placement of random enemies that they're, you know, in different places from the original, that's why. Um... So yeah, I'm just going to start playing through Dark Souls 2 so that when Dark Souls 3 comes out, I'll have some kinks worked out on my channel and I'll know kind of, you know, the mechanics of uploading and editing and all that nice stuff. Now, I have beaten uh, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, and Scholar of the First Sin before. I just kind of figured it'd be fun to play through again and put a little something something up on YouTube for for all you lovely people that might be happening to stumble across a terrible channel which this is probably going to be <laughs> um, this is in no way going to be any kind of a professional run of Dark Souls 2 because I'm not that good and neither are my editing skills, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna see how this turns out. We're gonna follow the the wondrous adventures of McDank as he treks through Dark Souls 2 and gets killed repeatedly, just over and over and over again. Now I'm going to kind of do my best to power through the first few areas as quick as I can so that I can spend more time in the later areas because that's where all the interesting stuff happens. Just going to grab that. Not really sure how that guy didn't hit me, but... Bro. What's up guys? Alright, let's go. Okay. That's what you get when you get swanky and sassy. Never taunt your enemies when you're on a bridge. Remember that, kids. Taunting enemies while you're on a bridge is never a good idea. At least in Dark Souls. But whatever. Okay, you know what? So for those of you who don't know, the tactic for beating Dark Souls is to stick your face in the butt of <laughs> whatever you're fighting. That's pretty much how you win. This guy here always gives you some problems. Because for some reason the animations for the mace are very slow. There's a long, like time where it takes him to pull it back and then before he attacks it's just like way longer than you anticipate. Again, like I said, that's probably just because I'm not good. But I don't know how to tell when he's gonna attack. See? <laughs> Alright, let's pull that down. I don't necessarily need to pull that lever to fight the boss, but it does make it a lot easier. Unless you know how to do the... The whole wait for him to attack thing, which I'll show you what I mean by that. A lot of speedrunners will wait for the first boss here to attack right as you go in, and he just falls off the edge so you don't have to fight him, but... I don't exactly know the timing of it, so I'm just going to fight him like a scrub, because I'm not professional in any way. Alright. Yeah, normally 
that like last outer ring right here isn't here that's what that lever does and then as he attacks like that you can get him to fall off the edge I just don't know how to do that so McDank is gonna make shank and maybe even spank see that's a spank and that's a shank Okay, and when you use two, that's a McDouble. That's that's what we're gonna call that. <laughs> so yeah, this boss is pretty easy. You see him later in the game as well. It's not really much of a spoiler, but later there's a boss that there's actually two of these guys, and one of them shoots arrows at you while the other guy just kind of slaps you in the face with a halberd. not dank. And I didn't equip my Estus Flask because I'm a loser. Yep. Yep. That's what happens when you don't equip your Estus Flask, kids. That's what happens. Alrighty, let's try this one again. Now I should be embarrassed that I got killed by this boss, but I'm not going to be embarrassed because I've already established that this is not going to be a good playthrough. <laughs> got to make spank. Got to make spank. And make shank. And make double. Like we said before, that's how you win. You got to make shank and McSpank. Alright, let's not continuously get hit here. So much concentration right now. So concentrated. Now there's a stat in this game called adaptability, which makes your rolls more likely to dodge. Because what it does is give you more frames where you're invincible through the roll. Um, if you didn't know that. Which, I guess anybody that actually plays this game knows that, because... Casuals do not win in this game. Oh my god. So much death. Alright, third time's a charm. Gotta do the McSpanks. And the McShanks. I've not played this game in a very long time. There we go. Fall off the edge again. Uh, 
I'm going to be so bad at Dark Souls 3 if this is how I'm going to play. <laughs> there is actually a way to stun lock this guy if you get to a certain point here. Unfortunately, I don't actually know what it takes to be able to stun lock. I think you might need a weapon that does bleed damage, but I'm not actually sure. Oh dear! Alright guys, I think this is the one. Gonna make shank. <laughs> McShank for the win. That's what we're talking about. All right. Victory achieved. It only took me 1,400 tries. I just haven't showed you guys all of them. I've actually been playing this for 12 hours straight just to beat the first boss. Okay. Minjiri. Is that? Why is there a tree with a hole in his face? And swords and you know, why why he has a he has a pillar through his chest, like McDank is not amused. He's like, you know what? I I don't even care. You're no. No. You're not even scared. I'm just gonna attack your ankles. Cause you don't even deserve me attacking any other any other part of you, so. Come on. Come on. Come on now. So if you guys are actually gonna play this, I would recommend doing this boss first. Not the one that I did. This guy's actually pretty easy to kill. I just gotta walk under his legs and Stab at his little toesies. Shank. And then if he gets to, you know, if he gets backed into a corner, you just walk away, and you know, it's pretty simple. And you're, oh man, I don't know who the heck decides like, oh, I need to kill this guy. I'm just gonna rip my arm off and use it as a hammer. Hit him with. Like, what the frick are you doing? Like, did he? Does he just get that frustrated that he just needs to smash something, so he just like rips his own arm off? Or like, I just I don't understand. Later, breath. Later, breath. Ah, uh, bruh! Bruh! What are you doing, bruh? Oh my goodness. He's got a McShank. That's what he's got. Oh my goodness. Did you freaking stop? What the F, man? What the frick? What are you doing? Oh my god! See, this guy's even harder than the boss was. Punch him in the back until he dies. Okay. Let's get out of here. Okay, so to end the episode, I got a McShank. This is our McShank. You just keep McShanking people. Right? It's like... McShank! Alright, so I'm going to end the episode here. Hope you guys liked it. You know, if you liked it, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. You know the whole thing the whole spiel that everybody says but yeah have a good one guys see ya